Oi, oi. Oi, oi, Drake. 16 minutes to sat nav saying. It's about time that the pre workout goes in so we can get there and be straight in. Oi, oi, oi. And I'll just get like an ES, EOSR or something and uh, use that for pictures. You can buy this off me if you want. <laughs> I'm Scottish, remember? These leg sessions are brutal. Two, uh, two sets in. PBs again, more so rep range on these uh, hamstring curls compared to last week. And then similar format and setup on leg extensions. I might post side by side compared to last week. And then we've got our hack leg press on the hammer. And then we're done. It's heavy. Five plates for 10 last week. Just done five for a single. Felt very heavy. So I might just have to be a little micro load this week. I feel like we've uh, overexerted ourselves on leg extensions, but uh, heavier. It just felt more pingy last week. Come on. Yep. Come on, Tom. Here we go. Yep. Good. Yes, Tom. Good. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Good. Come on. Up. Come on. Two. Couple more. Down. Here we go. Now we drive. Now we drive. Two. One more. At least. Up, come on, lock in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hack done, two sets of hack. Felt a lot more taxing this week compared to last week, but progression made on low, back down to the rep scheme. We've got a muscle round on this. Hammer strength leg press. I'm trying to keep up with Josh on this. Did eight plates, four by four last week. He's done eight and a half. Might have to humble it down and do five. In Giacomo. Hello, Selfridges to offer clothing rental in environmental push. This is, uh, if you haven't seen this already, there's been plenty of memes on, on social media about it. Selfridges have started to offer a clothing rental scheme. Now this has been met with a mixed bag of emotion. We've got half the argument saying it's a fantastic idea. Recycle, green, green, green. We're a society, a world that over consumes far too much. If you haven't watched the David Attenborough documentary Extinction, I highly recommend you do so. I can completely understand the argument. The flip side to that is that we are only exacerbating the current issue we have, which is image. 
okay? It's very easy to become inundated and fixated on Instagram by scrolling through, seeing people in very expensive clothes, nice watches, fast cars and holidays. It's all a facade, you know? This, this, this issue that we have that's causing severe mental health issues because individuals are constantly comparing themselves, I feel that this, this ability to go into Selfridges and rent a, a Dior t-shirt or a Dolce & Gabbana or a pair of Louis Vuitton boots, take a picture, upload that, and then instantly have this, have this aura that you're doing really well for yourself or you're winning. And I'm gonna collate how much it would cost for you to rent an outfit for a night out We'll take that total sum of money, go to Zara, a nice high street retail brand, and see how much we can get for that price that you'd pay for an outfit that you'd have to give back on Sunday or Monday. Now, I think it just is part of the, the Her Collective, but I can't find any of the men's clothes to rent, okay? So what I've done is I've, I've taken like a, an average price of a coat, t-shirt, pair of jeans, and some boots, okay? So these coats range from like 500 quid down to 200 quid, 100 quid. So we'll just take this lovely blue Ralph Lauren jacket, rent from eight, nine quid, call it 90 quid, retail price five and a half grand. <laughs> so 90 quid. Need a t-shirt with that, Dolce & Gabbana, 30 quid. So we're on, a, we're on a ton. Need a pair of jeans with that. We've got some jeans here for 100 quid, it goes down to, down to 16 quid, we'll call it 20 quid. Most of the jeans here are 20 quid. So that's 120. And we've got a pair of Louis Vuitton boots here, you can rent for 113 quid. So we'll call it, we'll call it 110. So if my maths is correct, that, that equals to about 230 quid. You wear that outfit, you take your picture, fantastic. We're a generation that can't live within their means. People think you're doing well but you've got to give the clothes back on Monday. We don't want that. We want to sort of keep our clothes, okay? So we're gonna go and take this 200 and however much it was, 230. See what we can get for that in Zara, for clothes that we can keep and wear more than once. And also try and kill two birds with one stone because we're kind of entering a autumnal slash wintry kind of vibe at the moment. So we'll try and get some clothes that are appropriate for that. Let's go. Elle's just made a valid point. She said, instead of seeing what you can get for 240, because we're going clothes shopping on Sunday, go and get a, the, and the same sort of outfit for cheaper than you'd rent it. So we're going to do that instead, okay? What is in at the moment in this autumnal, inter-winter kind of style? Now, I'm not a fashion guru, but I like to, you know, surround myself, Instagram accounts, I like to keep my eye in. We've got head to toe in red and green. So strong reds and greens at the moment. Alexander McQueen at Milan Fashion Week had the, some really nice red pieces. Denim, double denim, Valentino and Desquared, some nice pieces as well. Check, check's never really gone out. Check's in every year. The strap, this kind of cargo style strap from Dior and Louis Vuitton, which is really nice. You've seen it on the blazers on the trousers as well. And faces, so like comic book faces, these style prints on jumpers and t-shirts. I think that's about it. So what we'll do is we'll try and tick boxes from what's in at the moment for cheaper than we'd rent it. I'm not gonna take the camera with me because the Zara man told me off last time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The task of getting an outfit that was cheaper than the 230 odd quid that it will cost to rent was successful. Total price, 179.95. Get in. I've got a, I've got a coat. Got a t-shirt, got some trousers, got some trainers, and I got an accessory. Didn't get an accessory with the rented drip, but we did for this one. We'll start with a coat. Green, tick. There was a, a red one, but it wasn't the sort of red that I envisaged. So we went with the uh, went with the green. Nice black cord collar as well, very versatile. Can go with black skinny jeans, can go with usual blue skinny jeans. Very nice indeed, quite thin as well. Perfect for this autumnal variation in weather. Sometimes it's like 20, sometimes it's like eight. Some... 59.99. Good coat that. You could take that into the winter as well. Could uh, could go could opt for smart. Okay, we could go black turtleneck tucked in with some nice trousers, belt, turtleneck just peering out from the collar here. Beautiful, beautiful. Moving down, t-shirt, ticking that. 
tick in that box of uh, face print that I mentioned, tick, nice print on the front too, yeah, beautiful neck, nice crew, you know what I'm like about my necks, I like a tight neck, I hate all this loose fitting, some of the Masoni, this is a Masoni, but some of the Masoni t-shirts are dreadful, you could get two heads in one, so nice neck, XL, $19.99, Le Bargain Bucket. Onto the trousers. Now, as I mentioned with the uh, with the Dior Louis Vuitton style, wanted to go for this sort of cargo trouser. Found them. Nice stretchy fit as well. Tapered at the ankle. Also very, very nice. Zip at the back. They did have a, a, a kind of buckle style with zips on the pocket, but it was a little bit too expensive, and I thought we're on a bit, bit of a budget here. $29.99 these were in extra large. Now, we need some shoes because we can't go around barefoot. Got some shoes. Now when choosing a shoe like this, you've got to pick up the detail. So we've got a lot of green going on here that can complement the coat. White can complement the t-shirt, okay? So a beautiful choice, sort of like a a Balenciaga Triple S esque style Yeezy trainer. How much were these? I think these were $49.99. $49.99. Now I said accessory. I like an accessory. I got a I got a man bag. We could we didn't find that on the drip. You probably could rent an accessory, you could rent like a little bag if you wanted. But uh I managed to find this $19.99. Lovely little sort of, maybe like a bit of a Prada. Prada are doing a lot of these style kind of boxy strap bags at the moment. Usually attach onto their, onto their kind of like jackets, but we don't really want to be spending a couple of grand. This was 19.99. Goes around the body, beautiful. You can put your, your wallet, keys, phone, packet. Huh? Keys, phone, wallet in there. Nice, then you ain't got big bulky pockets, you know, just all in one. So there we go. I managed to get an outfit for 179.95. Still quite expensive, we could go cheaper. I could take this exact model and style and base it in Primark, which I might do. But so uh, there we go, saved what? 90, 100, saved like 40 quid, and I ain't got to give this back. I can wear this all through winter. I can wear the trainers all through winter, the coat I can wear, I ain't gotta take it back. T-shirt, could whack it on with anything, you know? I could I could eke out the t-shirt normally, and then when it gets to that stage of I don't really want to wear it anymore, wear it in the gym. Nice trousers. Amazing. About you last night, uh, and we were listening to Far Side. Something the something started spinning in the past. I so I kept the singing to the far side. We were I feel like I should end this scene by walking in and closing my hands like some sort of documentary. I hope you enjoyed. Come on, facial recognition. There you go. Don't worry, I'm upgrading the camera soon. I'm going to the Canon R6, changing the lens. I'm reinvesting into the business. I've gone through quite a good patch at the moment. I've stopped being a bit of an arsehole, spunking money on clothes that I don't need. Because you're probably watching this thinking, a bit hypocritical, aren't you, Tom? Because you like to go to Selfridges. I do. But again, who the fuck are you to judge? Because it's my money at the end of the day. I'm not being paid by Louis Vuitton. I'm not being gifted these clothes. I'll work hard for a few months. If I'm going to Mykonos, I'll go, yeah. I will go and buy a t-shirt from X brand. And uh, I want to wrap up with my opinion. Because a couple of people asked and I uploaded an Instagram post. And this is, this is the beauty of social media. It's always fantastic to, to listen to different arguments. And I can completely understand from, from a business point of view why Selfridges would want to go and enter this venture. I think John Lewis are doing it too. I can also completely understand from an environmental perspective why this is, uh, this is fantastic. You know, recycling. But I can't help as someone who... You know, I can't help but feel as someone who's very much in this generation and continually surrounded by image that the majority of people have seen that and gone, oh, hold on, that's Rolex, you know, rented Mercedes that I can't quite afford. 
got to go and get this Dior t-shirt that's 50 quid for the weekend. Post an image of me and Sheesh, and people are going to think, fucking hell, Tom's doing well for himself. That's, you know, that's what I feel the majority of people are going to, uh, how the majority of people are going to use this service. Which also leads me onto the point, who the fuck am I to judge? Who's anyone to judge? If you want to go and rent some clothes, then so be it. You shouldn't care what TM Cycles has to think. So there we go. I hope we've, uh, hope we've managed to produce a, a nice bit of content here. I do want to do a bit more of this in the future. And let's not forget, if you're thinking, hey, hypocrite, I, I put women's Primark jeans on the map, okay? I still wear Primark women's jeans on a night out, size 14, yeah? I'm a Zara boy at heart. I love a bargain. Even, you know, when I wear the Missoni, I see that, I think, it's a bit too much. Tasuti, 30% off. I drive a hard bargain. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. I've all, I, you know, I'd love to hear YouTube's feedback as well. I'd love to hear your opinion on the current situation of renting clothes. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm now gonna go and play Warzone season six with the boys because they keep messaging, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, goodnight. Much love. We're on the last ride. I'm saying it's the past, but the present moving fast. I ain't thinking about the last time. It's fine, but they were saying that you asked my brothers if I'm ready for the last time.